So, hi you guys. I'm back with a video. <laughs> it's me. It's Rosie. <laughs> um, it's been a long time since I seen you guys. It's been a long time since I posted a video. Um, but today I'm going to give y'all my skin routine. I've been saying I'm posting. I'm going to put it on YouTube. Um, I've been saying it for the longest. So if you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and my good social media, y'all know I've been saying I'm going to give y'all a skin routine video and it never happened. So it's going to happen today. But before I get into this video, you know, I just want to make sure to let everybody know. I hope you guys are staying safe during this time, this coronavirus, this COVID-19. hope you guys are being safe. You're checking on your family, your friends, you know, your loved ones. If you're inside the house with your loved ones, make sure you check on them too. You know, just not the ones who don't live with you. Make sure you check on them. Make sure that they're okay. Right now, people are are getting depressed they're losing their minds they're inside people losing their jobs so you know just say a little prayer that we're still here try to distance yourself from people if you don't need to be out if you don't need nothing don't go outside okay but people working y'all pray for them like moi please please pray for me um especially because i work at a doctor's office so you know i just wanted to say that because all this stuff been going on everybody been locked up we feel like well, I feel like I'm a prisoner. Even though I still go to work on the weekends, I really don't have anything to do because nothing is open. <laughs> so I just feel like I'm inside, just locked up. But, you know, hopefully everything will pass over. We'll get through this so we can see outside again, be free again. But, you know, just pray, check on the people, your grandparents, all that good stuff. So, and before, make sure you comment, you like, you subscribe to the channel because, I mean, hey, we on lockdown. I might as well go ahead and give y'all videos. So, I'm going to go ahead and start. I am actually about to put my hair. Hold on. Alright, so, I'm back with the bun. Don't mind my bun is like lopsided or anything. It's okay because I'm just washing my face. So, y'all been waiting. I'm going to give it to y'all. So first, you always gotta wash your hands. So, you know, make sure that you wash your hands before you touch your pretty little face. I just woke up, well not just woke up, I just been laying in the bed, but I just got off the bed. I really don't know what time it is, but we're gonna wash our hands first. <laughs> products is running low and I was like oh, I want to show them like an actual full bar what it looks like you know with it full thing of spray you know whatever it is and it never seems to work out like that even this time it don't work out like that I'm gonna show y'all the soap I use this is the turmeric soap that I use on my face okay I use on my face and my neck you gotta make sure you wash your neck too not just your face now get all of that and you do it. Um, it's coming this little bag. I'm gonna just take it out. It is kind of wet because I kind of wet it already. You know what it looks like. Turmeric smells good. It comes in this little baggie, especially when I get it from. Oh, all these products or majority of these products come from Kingdom Aesthetics. Um, in New Orleans, located in New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, I started using their stuff maybe a year or two ago maybe um but i've been using it ever since before i started with the turmeric bar um i used to get the original bar they have so many they have black soap they have a rose bar i think that's what it is i'm not sure i don't have oily skin so each soap is different from um one another it helps with different things um i used the turmeric because i was using the original the original was going fine and cleared up my skin as you guys can see but i still had like little dark spots and like little i don't know if you can tell you probably can't tell i don't want to get too close to the camera but you know i have little dark spots um discoloration everything on my face 
um quick story funny story fun fact is when i was about seven or maybe when i was like seven or eight my grandpa he brought all of us my cousins we had go karts one go kart we had like three older cousins and three little cousins i was part of the little cousins okay so you pick which cousin you want to ride with on go kart big cousin gonna drive you gonna sit in the passenger seat well it was my turn to get in the car i'm sorry my turn to get in the go kart and the seat belt would not come it wouldn't, you know, when the seatbelt gets stuck, you got like jerk a couple times. It would not come, y'all. The seatbelt, it was just stuck. So, you know, my cousins was just like, hold on, it'll be all right, just hold on. So I'm like, okay, hmm, hold on, y'all. <laughs> Soon as my cousin, and I'm not even gonna name her name, because <laughs> I love her dearly, she support me, everything that I do, and all this. I ain't even gonna put on blasts like that. But as soon as my cousin drove off on that go kart. I flipped off. Okay, as soon as she hit the gas, I hit the ground. Like, literally flipped in the air. Okay, all of this was gone. Like, the white meat was showing. I had no skin, no brown, no black. The white meat, it was white. It was showing. I was bleeding. I had scarred up my elbows, both of my knees. Like, I was just bleeding everywhere. I was just in a crying snot coming out my nose, tears. Like, I ain't know what to do. Y'all, and guess what? The story doesn't end there. The next day, I had to go to school and take school pictures with whole class. So literally, on my school picture, with, on my class picture, with all my peers, all my classmates, I was sitting up there with my blue dress on that I picked out. Had my hair done with my blue ribbon, and I had a big patch on the inside of my face because. I flipped off the go-kart that weekend. But I was cheesed out in a picture. For my school pictures, <laughs> I was cheesed out. I was smiling so hard from ear to ear. You can tell me nothing, even with the patch on. So, I know they had a little color distraction. Color distraction. I hope I said that right. I don't know. Um, from that, but, you know, it's not cleared up. You can't tell which side. But that was just a little fun fact, fun story. So, yeah. This is the soap that I'll be using. So, you just put a little water on it. You know, rinse it, a little water, and then we just gonna go in. The bag kind of makes soap suds, okay? So you go in, all of your forehead. All underneath the eyes. I be feeling like, um, I need my eyes. I be having like dark circles or something. Oh, is that what it's called? Some people be having like, I don't know circles or something i ain't gonna say bags but you know the little black circles <laughs> like i feel like i have that but then again i feel like i don't maybe it's just when i'm looking a certain way so once i do that mm -mm, mm -mm, put everything my lips and all y'all make sure y'all get good the bag it actually forms like you know the soap suds and everything so once I do that, I go in with my facial brush. Let me put the head on there. I brought this brush from Macy a while back. I don't know how long ago it was, but just a little brush. Y'all can see. A little brush. Um, I'm gonna say that I use it so I think I don't use it so much the name is faded. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure you can find this at Walmart. So it's only cost me twelve dollars. I'm going to spend forty some dollars on batteries popping in. I ain't that fancy right like now. So I just wet the brush just a little bit, and instead of me using my hands to go in and do it, I really use my brush. Okay, I don't know. It's just giving better results. I feel like it. So let's go with my brush. I just let the brush do the work. Really. I make sure I get the eyes. All that. Hey, got all that dirt. I'm sleeping last night and I did all my scalp. So make sure. Get all of it. I think this thing has like 10 different speeds. Long from short. I'm gonna say short, going from like slow to like really fast. Also, this came with two of the small heads, and it came with a large head for like these. 
when you're taking a shower or bath or whatever. But I don't use them. I just use these two. So it's quick. You pop it out. You rinse it off. You wash it. And then, boom, we done with that. So, literally, I let this sit on my face. Let this sit on my bed, y'all. Because my countertop is, like, taking all of this. And my tripod is small. So, y'all was going to be looking at my stomach. So, I had to do it like this. So, I'm sorry if I'm popping in and out. I'm going to try to eat my best this video but like i said once i do this i let it sit and i brush my teeth um you know floss brush my teeth you know put a little mouth washing and get it all around spit it out once i finish doing that i just take this and i rinse it off like this it so this one i'm about to take and i'm about to rinse it off once i rinse it off i like to go in with a paper towel Instead of a towel to dry my face, because the towel holds a lot of moisture and dirt. So you don't want your face to be dirty, you want it to be clean. So I go in with a paper towel. Just get a paper towel, it don't have to be, you know, a lot of them. Just one, and I go in and I tap. I don't rub anything. I don't know if that makes a difference, but I just tap, okay? I tap to make sure. It's dry. Okay. Once it's all dry, I think it's all dry. Quick FYI, I got mirrors on both sides. So if I'm looking this way, my bad, y'all. I'm trying to make sure it's all dry. And look at my skin. It's just. <laughs> look at my skin. Okay. Once you finish drying the face on, I go in. This is my next little product I use right here, y'all. For my um the witch hazel. Um I think this is a rose petal, if I'm not mistaken. Now I seen on Twitter somebody had a thread. Um, why not to use this kind of witch hazel? They was like, for my black girls, y'all still using this kind of witch hazel? Like, I don't have a problem with it. It hasn't messed up my skin. I think I seen it at work. And you know how Twitter be strolling your time, your, your TL, when you don't want it to be strolling? And that happened, and I didn't feel like going back to stroll to see what they was talking about or anything. But I feel like it don't do anything to my face. My face is still good. My face does not break out. Um, it stays clean. I mean, just look at it. So I don't know what's, like, the downside about this. If y'all know, let me know. Comment below and let me know because I want to know what, like. But everybody is different. So, I mean, you can't judge one person opinion, you know, off of it. So I just go in with this and I take it on a little cotton pad. Whatever. I just take it. I just go through to make sure I got all the dirt. All the little dirt behind. Even when I don't. And I don't really wear makeup like talking about it. But when I do, if I don't have any makeup wipes on me to remove my makeup my makeup to remove my makeup I just use my witch hazel and get it off it gets that extra dirt on it get my, my ears too now I don't play about my ears because I got so many piercings I won't get no type of ear infection okay y'all let me see can y'all see it ain't that really much dirt left yeah, because I wash my face morning and at night. Boom. This, the same routine that I'm doing is actually for my night routine Night routine as well. When I wash my face, it's only one thing that's different at night than even day. But once I do that, I my face off and stuff. I go in with my cauliflower toner, which is from Queen of Aesthetics. I'm trying to get it to focus. Maybe, maybe not. It does have the little, y'all see, the little cauliflowers. I was gonna mess that up. <laughs> so my little spray thing, it doesn't work anymore. I'm not sprayed it so much. It was just 
like chill out. Usually give like a little mist, which I like because I do like a little spray. But I just have to put it in my hand like this. And then I just pat my face. All over. A little bit goes a long way. Just to let y'all know. I'm telling you. Because I done had this for about a good. I'm almost about to be a year. And then. We gonna go in. With my beauty cream. From Queen of Mistakes. This is the little jar. I done had this for a good little bit. Y'all can see inside. Yeah, I done had this for a good little bit. Like I said, a little bit goes a long way. So I just grab this much. It's not a lot. And I just, you know, put some here and there. I might not even use all of it because I'm telling you, y'all really don't need a lot of this. Only like a little bit, little. Go in and I just wipe it all on. Make sure you get in my eyes. Top of my eyes. Wipe. 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 And then boom, that's gonna be black. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Um, oh, I feel like I got a cream. Maybe I'll trip them. But yeah, like I said, a little bit goes on my way. Y'all see that now? <laughs> y'all, y'all be able to look at yourself in the mirror like, I look at myself all day. That's why I'm glad I got a mirror over here and over here. Like, I don't know. People say it's conceited, but hey. Maybe I like to tell myself I look beautiful every day. But y'all see this skin, though. <laughs> yes. It is a little shiny. I think I went a little overboard with my beauty, with my beauty cream. But um, it is what it is. <laughs> So, that's it for my skin routine. That's what I do in the morning time. I'm going to show y'all my... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I'm going to show y'all my exfoliation polish that I use. So, I use this at night. I do it two to three times a week. And this is the turmeric one. Um, I really don't want it to spill out. But it's in, it's in, this, it's in this little jar. Um, ooh. It really like I'ma show y'all because I don't want the tip out. It's about the tip out. Um but it still have like in the cali cauliflower toner. You know, it has all the little seeds and the leaves and all that good little stuff. All that is in here. I put this on, like I said, two to three times a week and night. Helps get rid of that dead skin. You've been sweating. When I work out and everything, so I like to do that. But then that, that's all I do for my skin routine, as y'all can see. And if y'all go buy any products, I'm gonna list the products down below. I'm gonna also leave a link to my girl who does my facials and my waxes there at Queen of Mix So if you have any questions, you can ask her about it. Like I said, they have different products and so they're not paying me to do this. I was just giving y'all this because the skin just looks so flawless. But you know, if y'all hit them up in DM, let them know that I sent you. Maybe they can send me some type of code and I can give you the code. And we can get discounts forever, sis. So, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. And we just gonna keep coming with the videos in 2020. Oh, just... I forgot. My birthday. Any April babies that's watching this vlog, comment your birthday below. Okay? I'm an April baby. Birthday is April 29th. Yes. It's when queens are born in April. Duh. Not to throw any shade on anybody's birthday who's not in April, but I'm just <clears throat> speaking facts. Um, so you know, happy birthday to you if your birthday already passed. If your birthday has not passed, happy early birthday to you. Y'all say happy birthday to me. You know. Um, but comment your birthday below. And I know tourist season's coming up. I'm a tourist. I know we have some Aries this, you know. 
in the month of April. That's okay, but you know, Taurus gang, if you Taurus, comment below too. So, hold on, let me take this bun down because this is a little heavy. Okay, all right, so there we go. So, I got the face popping. And I'm about to enjoy my day. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe.